Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Daisy. In today's video, I will be customizing acrylic Christmas ornament with Cricut vinyl and glitter. I will show you how to work with the design in the Cricut Design Space program, how to cut the design, how to transfer it to the acrylic circles, and how to add glitter. And this is the list of the supplies needed for this project acrylic circles i am using four inches acrylic circles any cricket machine permanent vinyl transfer tape and if you wish to add glitter to the ornaments you are going to need clear acrylic sealer and the glitter of your choice i'm going to link all of the supplies used for this project in the video description down below I'm going to start with the tutorial, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. I have these designs ready to cut, but I will show you how to design your own using the Cricut Design Space program. It's super easy. Go to the shapes and insert a circle. Select it and resize it according to the acrylic circle that you need to customize. For example, I'm going to customize 4 inches acrylic circles. So I'm going to resize it to 4 by 4. Next, I'm going to add text. Go to the T on the left and start typing on the Canva. Next, Change the color if you wish, go to operation, click on the color bar and pick the color of your choice. Now you may change the font if you wish. The two fonts that I am using for this tutorial are called Mystari and Adorable. I'm going to link them in the video description down below. I'm going to click on font and I'm going to change the font. If you pay the membership, click on Cricut and you know you have access to all of those fonts. But if you don't pay the membership, don't worry. Click on System and there you will find the list of the fonts downloaded on your computer. I don't pay the membership because I like to download my own fonts. Creative Fabrica and the font are my favorites. Now that I already changed the font, I'm going to resize it. If you wish to stretch it a little bit, click on the lock above to unlock it so you will be able to stretch it. Now I'm going to add some details to make it pretty. I'm going to add some snowflakes and a brush truck behind the name. And there it is. As you can see, some of the snowflakes get outside the circle, so I'm going to fix that. Select the name, the brush truck, and the circle, and place them aside. Select all the snowflakes, go to Combine, and select Weld. Now place the circle on the back, select both layers, and click on Slice. Remove the layers that you don't need and place the other items back. If you don't see them on the front, go to operation and send them to the front. Now remove the circle, select the brush truck and put it on the side. Now select all the white layers and click on Weld. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the designs, but before I'm going to hide or remove the circles from the other designs. The circles are for guidance only. 
Now let's go to make it. Since we're cutting on permanent vinyl, we don't need to mirror the image unless you want to put it on the back of the acrylic. Now here we're going to select the material that we're going to cut. I'm going to select vinyl. To cut the vinyl, I am using my Cricut Maker Machine. I'm going to link all of the supplies and equipment used in this tutorial in the video description down below. I'm going to start transferring the designs to the acrylic circles. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the protective layer on top. Remember these acrylic circles have protective layers on both sides. Now to transfer the designs, we're going to use a piece of transfer tape. And here we have the acrylic Christmas ornaments already customized with Cricut and permanent vinyl. You may leave them like this and place a ribbon or you may also add glitter on the back. I'm going to show you how to do that process. For that, we're going to need clear acrylic sealer and glitter. Before I place the glitter, I'm going to protect the design with a piece of transfer tape. You may add glitter to the entire circle or only one side. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the glitter. Be generous. Once you finish, remove the excess of glitter and let it dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and place ribbon or jute twine on the top. And here we have the beautiful acrylic ornaments ready for Christmas. Remember to check the description down below since there I'm going to link the supplies and fonts used for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.